What is the Led Zeppelin curse? What does it have to do with a haunted house and the wickedest man who ever lived? Aleister Crowley. Welcome to Friday Night Ghost Price from Haunted Road Media. I'm author and ghost story and Mike Ricksecker. Explore with us. From 1975 to 1980, the infamous rock band Led Zeppelin met with a number of accidents and tragedies that some attribute to a curse that was placed upon the band. What is this curse? And what does it have to do with the notorious Aleister Crowley and a haunted house? Thank you to Sync Hollywood and Gaston0770 for the video suggestion. Led Zeppelin was well known for their occult symbolism throughout their album designs and music, with each band member assigned their own specific symbol. Likewise, the Hermit Tarot card became one of their prominent figures. Guitarist Jimmy Page had been long interested in the world of the occult, and when asked in a recent interview about his involvement with the Golden Dawn, he stated that he had always been interested in Eastern and Western mysticism, its history, and spent much time reading and researching. He also owned an occult bookshop and publishing house known as Equinox, and spent time at auctions hunting down esoteric Aleister Crowley artifacts. Page became so interested in Crowley that he actually bought Crowley's Boleskine house in 1970. Who was Aleister Crowley? Aleister Crowley was many things in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. He was a novelist, poet, painter, mountaineer, and British secret agent. But he was most widely known as an occultist, and the mainstream press labeled him the wickedest man in the world due to his heavy involvement in black magic. He began his occult journey in the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn and later founded his own philosophy known as Thelema. Crowley bought the Boleskine House because it was in a secluded location in which to perform rituals, and he performed many there, attempting to conjure spirits and invoke demons. Some say Crowley never cleaned up the spiritual mess he made there, leaving many rituals open and unfinished. The Boleskin House, just a ruin now after a 2015 fire, rests in Scotland in Loch Ness next to a medieval cemetery. The cemetery once belonged to a church that once stood where the Boleskin House now rests. Sadly, the church burned down, and it's said that the parishioners of the church perished in the fire inside. A local legend also states that in the 1600s, Minister Thomas Houston had the job of laying animated corpses back to rest in the cemetery after a local conjurer had raised the dead in the graveyard. The Boleskin House was built in the 1760s by Colonel Archibald Fraser as a snub to his neighbor Simon Fraser, the 11th Lord Lovat, who became the last person in England executed by beheading. It is said that at times, the sound of Lord Lovat's head rolling down the stairs could be heard at times at the Boleskin House. Aleister Crowley bought the house from the Fraser family in 1899 and performed his rituals within it until he sold it in 1913. The house changed hands several times over the next 57 years, and its new owners continued to leave scars. Actor George Raft ran a scam out of the house, Major Edward Grant committed suicide in Crowley's old bedroom in 1965, and one husband abandoned his blind wife in the house after just a month of living there. Finally, Led Zeppelin's Jimmy Page bought the house at auction in 1970, outbidding Kenneth Anger, who would later become a nemesis, and the tale grew stranger. Page owned the Boleskin house for the next 22 years, but he never actually lived there. He furnished it and it was seen in the backdrop of Led Zeppelin's The Song Remains the Same concert video, which also includes Jimmy Page with glowing red eyes. The one who frequented the house the most and lived there for a time was Page's friend Malcolm Dent, who Page asked to take care of the house in his stead. Dent claimed to be a skeptic of the paranormal, but said he experienced the most terrifying night of his life at the Boleskin house. He claimed there was a scratching at the door to the room in which he was staying, and then it was followed by an incessant pounding that went on long into the night. Upon finally opening the door in the morning, nobody was there. At other times, Dent claimed doors would open and close on their own, and carpets throughout the house would pile up on their own for no explainable reason. Another friend who stayed at the house said she was attacked in the night by some kind of devil. And Kenneth Anger, who spent some time in the house to produce his film, Lucifer Rising, claimed that a 300-pound painting lifted itself off the wall and set itself on the floor. Kenneth Anger is the one who is supposed to have put the curse on Led Zeppelin. Through their affinity for the occult, 
and Aleister Crowley, Jimmy Page and Kenneth Anger became well acquainted and Page agreed to record music for Anger's short film, Lucifer Rising. Anger worked out of Page's house, but when Page's girlfriend Charlotte discovered that Anger was giving unauthorized tours of the house, Anger was thrown out. Page never completed his creepy soundtrack for Anger, and Anger ridiculed Page in the press, filed with a threat of throwing a Kenneth Anger curse at the guitarist. Considering Kenneth Anger's involvement with the occult, he very well may have made true on his threat since this is around the time that the band started having all kinds of problems. A week before the physical graffiti tour in January 1975, Jimmy Page broke his finger and was unable to play several of Led Zeppelin's best songs throughout the tour. Several tour dates were also canceled due to illnesses. Then in August that year, on a tour break, singer Robert Plant and his family were in a car crash in Greece that nearly killed them all. The rest of the tour was canceled and Plant spent much time in a wheelchair including during the recording of the Presence album, which was also delayed due to the accident and Plant's recovery. The makeup tour for the canceled physical graffiti tour encountered scores of problems, including Robert Plant coming down with laryngitis, causing more cancellations, and ticketless fans in Cincinnati rioting. The Plant family received another horrific blow in 1977 when their son Carrick died of a stomach virus who was only five years old and it happened very suddenly while Robert was on tour. The final blow to the band came in 1980 when drummer John Bonham was found dead after excessively drinking alcohol and asphyxiating in his sleep. Following Bonham's death, the band decided to call it quits rather than try to continue on with a replacement. Curse or no curse, Led Zeppelin was no more. The one band member who came away relatively unscathed was bassist John Paul Jones. Some legends about Led Zeppelin claim that in the early days, Jimmy Page would conduct occult rituals with the other band members, except Jones, who opted out and even considered leaving the band in 1973. And it is this participation that is the cause of the curse affecting them. Of course, this is all just legend at this point, but it's also said that some of the road crew would say in jest, don't go shopping with Jimmy Page, he might sacrifice you. Like I said earlier, Jimmy Page does admit to having an interest in the occult, its history, in all things magical, mystical, and beautiful. But to this day, he still denies the biggest Led Zeppelin controversy, backwards messages in their music. The classic Stairway to Heaven has long been derided for containing backwards messages about Satan. But Page's response is simple. It's hard enough writing a song one way than to also have to write it backwards. This video is a part of a new Haunted Road Media series on haunted rock bands and stars. Check out some of these other hauntings in our videos off to the side. I'm Mike Ricksecker. Till next Friday night.